Welcome on board the Sirius 31 ODS. I'm Thorsten Schmidt, the owner of Sirius Yachts, and I'm going to show you around this boat. Coming into our deck saloon, you notice the first big difference to other boats because we don't have washboards, we have a wheel door. And you're not limber dancing down eight steps into the boat, but you stay literally on the same level like the cockpit and just sit down either at the entire helm or over here in a settee. In here, it's all about visibility. You are actually on the same eye level like the crew in the cockpit. Um, you have a full 360 degree vision and you have your interior helm, your galley and your saloon all on the same eye level with this wonderful view around here. So literally you can see this as an extension to the cockpit which means even while sailing um, you can sit down here out of the wind, out of the sun, sit on cushions, do things which you normally won't think of doing while sailing. You can sort out some pictures on a computer, send some emails, um, um, prepare some lunch or some dips for dinner in a galley or do your chart work while you are underway. In fact, you see even a bit more from inside here than you would see on any other boat from the outside because you have a view under the sails. So even if you're responsible for the, for the helm and for the course, you switch on autopilot, you come in here and you do whatever you want to do. Just have a look around um, uh, every few minutes or seconds, whatever the course affords, and um, you just be comfy um, in a different place than the cockpit while sailing. Um, this deck saloon concept will be such a change for you for living on board because you might not have always people on board who are totally into sailing so they can just sit in here and enjoy while you're sailing while underway. You might say with children um, they normally get bored very fast outside don't want to wear all these so they just sit in here but then they play and want to show you and want to show the what want your attention and well it's all on the same eye level so you just go in while underway and see everything around um, stay in contact with your crew. It's also a security thing because you see if help is needed and then with the two steps out and a big door you're just out in a few seconds. Also, um, this is a very social place. The door is a bit offset, which means we have a real round settee here, which could easily seat six um, uh, on a very comfortable and nice evening. And then look at the views. It's just this possibility to see all the surrounding, to have this real 360 degrees. I always ask myself, who would accept a holiday cottage uh, without windows? Or book one in a sutter or in a cellar? So um, if we are sailing because we like nature, we probably want to see it. So with all this visibility around here on an anchorage in a harbour or at sea, it's just fantastic because you have all this landscape around you and you have the big windows like you would like to have at home. So sliding out of the settee here, you're standing in the galley and again you're on the same eye level like the people and your friends sitting in a saloon or like the crew outside in the cockpit and whether you prepare um, um, some lunch or some dips for dinner or the dinner itself you're not cast away you're on the same level and you have a wonderful view out here so going over to here so sitting at the end of a home um, you have everything what you need in control here. It's your plotter, it's your steering, it's your engine control just here. You have the view to the sails, you have the door just next to you in, uh, if you have to go out. And um, well, you um, can steer the boat comfortably from in here. You don't need to have a wheel today. We often do that electronically with a little wheel on a fly-by-wire control. Um, and you find yourself quite often running under autopilot, just sitting here, looking around, checking your charts or the way to go. If you're in a seaway um, you have to brace yourself or you can brace yourself over here um, and um, uh, sitting quite comfy and quite secure here and if you don't want to rely on the electronic charts and have your paper charts they're just stored over here in our um, chart table 
and you can take them out and put them into the big table and walk on them while you are on the same eye level, while you have everything under control and see actually where you're going, where you're heading. In uh, very rough seas, I find myself often standing here, <laughs> braced like that, and um, uh, having the chart just in front of me, having all the visibility, um, but being out of the elements, and, um, uh, and just, just check and be secure and, and see that everything goes right. So we are in the galley of the 310 now, and the most exceptional feature of the galley is again the visibility all the way around the short ways to the main table. But then you find all the essentials um, uh, for a galley in here. Here's a cooker, hop, might have a grill if you like. Um, here's a proper front opening fridge with a little ice box in it. You can have an extra cooling compartment or even um, deep freeze um, down there. And then we have loads of storage. Um, you see the glasses and um, dishes and all that are behind here. Most customers bring us their glasses, cutlery and crackery and we find a way to fit it in. Um, because we have lots of drawers here. This one is more um, for the NAS station. But then you have drawers all over here. There are shelves. They're all soft clothing. Quite big. Very accessible. Um, fitted dishes in here. More drawers. And you can brace yourself very good here while cooking because it's not a long open plan thing. You can slide around here and hold yourself um, whichever way. And, um, and then we have the huge floorboards here. And there's a bit of a surprise for most of the customers for the first time on board. Have a look. This is the storage you will find under our floorboards. Um, this is very deep below. That's why the helmsman or the skipper wants to have the weight um, just above the keel in the center of the boat. In this country, it even stays naturally cooled. But the best thing is it's very, very easy accessible. It's not under cushions. You don't have to get your guests up to get to the next bottle of wine. It's just below here. It goes on all the way. And then, surprise, more drawers. So directly at the companion way, you'll find a huge oil skin locker, um, which takes all the oilies and rubber boots and life jackets for um, a crew of six. So that goes out all the way to the outside. It's quite deep, it's vented to three sides. So um, all your cupboards in the cabins will just be for your smoking and the short back one. So because all the big stuff and all the wet stuff goes in here, short ways out. Then you have much more storage down here. Uh, it could be a um, cool box as well. Um, we have the double bins under here, um, more storage below. And if you want to do any um, configuration on your electrics, electronics, or want to check, this is all very accessible just behind here, all very neatly cabled all the way through. You get a book with about 100 pages um, about electronics and all the build of the boat, um, which shows all the diagrams, so it should be easy to find your way around there later on. Thank you for watching our videos. If you'd like to have more information about our boats, visit our website at zerius-werft.de or contact us directly. Thank you and goodbye.